Hi everyone. Right, we have a game here called Break the Code. This arrived today and it is by Yellow and Jelly Jelly Games. Break the Code is designed by Ryohei Karahishi, or that could be Kurahashi. It's a two to four player game. It's for ages 10 plus and takes about 15 minutes. Just to let you know, I have checked with the marketing at Yellow and that doesn't mean anything. So don't worry about that symbol. But this is a game whereby, and this is where I think I'm thinking of making a top 10 games based on their description of how simple this is, because what you're trying to do is literally, it's a deduction game and to break the code. Now, based on this layout, I'm going to obviously open this up and just show you this as it's a teaser video. And by all means, please, uh, if you're interested in this and uh, keen to see more, hit the thumbs up and it gives me a good indication of the kind of stuff that you enjoy watching. Finally, hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to see the review as soon as it comes out. And finally, check the comments and descriptions for anything else that I'm keeping an eye on. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be comparing the size compared to, say, Port Royal, just out of interest to see if it's the same stack height. But on your turn, you are looking to choose a question. And you're basically trying to play this fast place game. And it's an exciting puzzle game. Now, there are other games such as Letter Jam uh, by uh, CG Games, Czech Games Edition. And also another game called... Oh, sorry, one moment. Let me punch out some stuff. Oh, very shiny. Look at that. So there's... Oh, let me do front to back. Uh, front to back. Okay. There's another game called um, Decrypto. I personally find Decrypto way too long and uh, too much downtime as well. So I find it way overextends its welcome. It's frequently taken 45 to sort of 90 minutes. And uh, I much prefer other sort of simpler games. Yellow, in particular, are very good at making games that do fit that sweet spot of maybe about half an hour, or in this case, 15 minutes. And in terms of looking at this kind of vanity shield, let's just try this out. And yeah, it works. Obviously, I've used vanity shields in a few other games recently, such as Pegasus Spieler's Tricky Druids. So here they are. And here's the set of cards. So you're going to be asking one of these cards and helping to help if that reduces you know, does that aim to work out what something is? So without having played the game, I know you're basically going to have something like five of these numbers. This game, by the way, is a bit of a gem, to quote them directly, of one of the people who works in marketing at Yellow. So you're going to have something like that, and you're going to say something like, so it'll be certain cards. So in this case, you could say, imagine that's somebody else's. How many odd tiles do you have? And you're going to mark off using your score pad as to how well they're doing. Or it could be the case you might want to say, um, what's the option here? Oh, it's the same both way. So you're basically asking different things. So eventually, you're asking a question which is something that really just dials in and getting that fifth thing marked off as you start ticking off what you think somebody is. So this score pad is double-sided, very nice. I mean, I could laminate it. I do have a laminator now. But uh, here you are for the five letters, obviously across the five different digits and how you get on. So there's the inlay. So I think everything, it doesn't come with any um, small bags to keep them in, but that's fine. And again, they're all jumbled up. So each time you get it, it doesn't matter. They're only one sided. And obviously they fit behind that vanity shield. So by all means, uh, be uh, watching out for this when I do a review. I've seen so far it's uh, recommended best as a two, but I look forward to trying it out at all player counts. But under COVID-19 lockdown, it will definitely be a two that I'll be playing in in the foreseeable future. But I fully expect to try it out at all player counts and give you the full rundown of the rules. So in terms of this, this should be quite easy to open up as well. And this, of course, will save you time watching the actual run through the other video. So over here we have which neighboring tiles have consecutive numbers. So which ones go, I don't know, five, six, seven. So there are other games such as uh, 13 Clues, which is a fantastic Cluedo-like game. I think it's the best of its type in that kind of Clue um, family game. And I do know that um, this was initially meant to be sent prior to the COVID-19 lockdown. So there has been some delay, but I know that still I'm one of the first to get this UK or the English edition of it. So uh, it's great to get it sort of so early on. And I know on Instagram already it's had you know, over 50 likes in uh, literally um, about five hours. 
So that's going very well for uh, obviously my sort of low base. But I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to bringing another video very soon. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.